Angel Gabriel carried the message 100% correct to the messengers. The Quran's language is the only language that is still alive till now. Yes, we have many translations of the Quran in many languages, but it is easy and accessible for the people who would like to learn the original scripture and the original manuscripts of the Quran is to learn the Arabic language and it is still alive until now. The Quran has been maintained in the original language. We have millions of Muslims who memorize the Quran from cover to cover without any mistake in Arabic. And most of these Muslims don't even speak Arabic, but they memorize the Quran in Arabic. The Quran is the last revelation of Allah Almighty. The Quran is the principal source for every Muslim faith and practice. The Quran deals with every subject in life. The Quran offers law for a just society and proper human conducts an equitable economic principle. Muslims call that law, Sharia law. Quran deals with the relationship between the person and his Lord, and the Quran deals with the relationship between a person and the others. The first chapter of the Quran called Al-Fatiha, or the opener, I would like to recite it for you in Arabic and then translate it in English. It goes like this. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين It says, in the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful. All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds, the compassionate the merciful, sovereign of the day of judgment. It is you we worship and you we ask for help. Guide us to the straight path, the path of those upon whom you have bestowed favor, not of those who have evoked your anger or of those who are astray. Muslims recite the opening chapter at least 17 times during their five prayers a day. But then why people are from different backgrounds fighting all the time? God says in the Quran, O mankind, indeed we have created you from male and female and made you peoples and tribes that you may know one another. Indeed, the most noble of you in the sight of Allah is the most righteous of you. Notice that he did not say the most noble of you are the white people. Notice that he did not say that the most noble of you are the black people or the American people or the Arab people. He said the most noble of you in the sight of Allah is the most righteous of you. Indeed, Allah is knowing and acquainted.